Hello, in this video, we are going to talk about obesity and its impact on cardiovascular health. Obesity has become a major global health concern. Data indicates obesity rates have doubled in adults and quadrupled in children over the last three decades. The increase in severe obesity is particularly concerning as it is associated with a significant reduction in life expectancy. Obesity is a complex, multifactorial disease influenced by a wide range of factors. Biologically, genetics, hormones, and neurological pathways influence obesity. There are certain medical conditions like hypothyroidism and Cushing disease can cause obesity. Other factors such as lifestyle, diet, and societal factors also influence obesity. Obesity is a driving force behind many of the most damaging cardiovascular risk factors and conditions. Number one, type two diabetes and insulin resistance. Increased fat tissue leads to cellular resistance to insulin. Second, hypertension, high blood pressure. Increased sympathetic nervous system and renin angiotensin aldosterone system activity causes increase in blood pressure. Dyslipidemia, meaning abnormal cholesterol. Increased lipid production in the liver. Then heart failure. It poses increased strain on heart muscle over time. Chronic kidney disease. It's linked to diabetes and hypertension, often a complication of obesity. Limitations of body mass index. While BMI, which is body mass index, is a common screening tool, it has limitations. It's an imperfect measure that can be inaccurate across different racial groups and does not distinguish between muscle mass and fat mass. Individualized assessments using additional research are often needed for an accurate diagnosis and treatment plan. Modern treatment strategies. Historically, lifestyle interventions alone have been the primary focus, but they have not demonstrated a reduction in adverse cardiovascular events. Modern approaches offer more significant and sustained results. Comparing treatment effectiveness. Effective obesity management requires a multidisciplinary approach combining shared decision making, team based care, meaning using providers, pharmacists, dietitians, and behavioral therapy, therapists, and lifestyle modifications. There are three treatment options available one, lifestyle therapy, meaning diet and exercise. It causes weight loss about 5 to 8 percent, but it does not have any impact on cardiovascular events. Second, pharmacotherapy, meaning using medications. It can cause weight loss about 10 to 20 percent or more. It has shown impact on the cardiovascular events. Third, bariatric or metabolic surgery. It can cause 25 to 30 percent weight loss. It has shown impact on the cardiovascular events as well as in resolving type 2 diabetes. The current guidelines suggest that lifestyle intervention should be offered alongside pharmacotherapy rather than requiring it as a prerequisite. The rise of third generation medications. Modern anti-obesity medications, particularly GLP-1 receptor agonists, have revolutionized treatment by achieving substantial weight loss. Liraglutide causes 8% weight loss in an average. Semaglutide, which is available as a Wegovy or Uzembek, causes 15% average weight loss. Third, tirazepam. 
teraceptide. It causes 20% average weight loss. These medications work by mimicking natural hormones to increase satiety and reduce appetite. Common manageable side effects include nausea, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. GLP-1 medications and cardio protection. The conversation is shifting from treating obesity primarily for weight loss to recognizing its profound benefits for heart health. For patients with type 2 diabetes and the existing cardiovascular risk factors, specific GLP-1 receptor agonists like liraglutide and semaglutide have been shown in major clinical trials to significantly reduce cardiovascular death, reduce the incidence of non-fatal myocardial infarction like heart attack, reduce the incidence of strokes. This evidence underscores their role as more than just weight loss tools. They are essential components of comprehensive cardiovascular risk reduction beyond the heart, the whole body benefits. Effective obesity treatment, whether through surgery or medication, provides extensive benefits across multiple organ systems. Metabolically, it reduces the cardiovascular risk factors, lower incidence of type 2 diabetes. In kidney, it decreases the progression of chronic kidney disease. In liver, it decreases incidence of non-alcoholic state of hepatitis and liver disease. In heart, it decreases incidence of heart failure. Important considerations for patients. When initiating treatment, patients must be monitored for certain issues, including side effects such as nausea and abdominal discomfort, dehydration and electrolytes, especially during early weight loss or with GA side effects. Third, medication adjustments. Versus of other medications such as blood pressure and diabetic drugs may need to be lowered as the patient condition improves. Thyroid hormone levels may also need to be adjusted. Multidisciplinary care. The involvement of a team including pharmacist, dietitian, and behavioral therapists is key to optimizing results and managing adjust adjustments. Finally, the treatment guidelines and monitoring. Obesity treatment is a highly personalized and requires continuous monitoring. Metabolic surgery, while highly effective, necessitates careful post-operative monitoring for potential long-term complications such as vitamin deficiencies and hypoglycemia, meaning low blood sugar. Specific, specific attention must be paid to adjusting medication for coexisting conditions including metabolic disorders, psychiatric issues, and cancer treatments. Weight-based dosing of certain medications is a critical consideration in obese patients. The final message. Obesity is a chronic, progressive, and complex disease that requires effective long-term management. Modern treatments, particularly pharmacotherapy and metabolic surgery, have proven to be successful in producing sustained weight loss and, crucially, reducing cardiovascular outcomes. Recognizing the disease and pursuing effective treatment is one of the most powerful ways to improve long-term health and well-being. Thanks for watching. Please share this video with others and also watch for the important topics in this channel.